today we're going to do uh, the baby chicks and I'm going to start you out with the head and the head is going to be I'm using a medium brush medium size medium hair it's a combination actually it's sheep or goat on the outside and wolf or fox on the inside so it's two different hairs mixed together so wet your brush break out the excess water go into your dark ink load your brush about halfway and try not to have it too dark too black And you're going to start with the head first. The head is number one. And you're going to make the head. And I'm just going to make the samples across just to show you step by step how you will do this. Put the tip of the brush down and open the, open the brush, going back and forth a little bit for number one. That's the head. Now, each time when I show this, I have to make the head again. So I'm going to make the head back and forth. So the stroke direction goes like so. Now this is number one. Number one. Now number two is going to be the top wing and it's going to be across. This is number two. So again, number one. number two, and number three. One, two, three. Okay. Now, number four is going to be very soft. So we we'll have to go with number one again. Number one, just put your brush down, a little bit of sideways motion. Number two, coming across for the wing. Number three, the head is the largest. This is next to the largest. This is smaller. One, two, three here. Now I'm going to get some of that water. Dip the tip into my brush into water. Break out a little bit so it will be softer. And I'm going to make the body chest and soft. Ink. Real, real soft. So it's going to start here and it's going to come down and around, like so. Now, again, go back into the, make the whole thing again. Number one is the head. Number two is the wing. Number three is this wing. Number four. This color out of here. Number four is going to come around, and I'm going to go right in the, between those two, two holes with and down and in. Now I'm going to come around to the back side, close that in, and pull it in if you want to fill in. And now I'm going to add the leg to the Next one, but just uh, it's going to take it a little bit to a little while to focus. Automatic focus here. Okay, so then I'm going to add the leg on this one. The leg, if you go into the center of the wing and you pull it down right in that area right there, is going to be the little leg. So it's going to be, if you hold it up toward the head, it's going to be kind of in the middle of the wing. Okay, so that's the the little guy here. Now I'm going to do them all over again. So put the leg in. Number one. Number two. Number three. Some of the water out. A little lighter. Now and in. And the leg. 
Now from there, I'm going to change brushes to a little hard brush, horse hair, get it wet, go into sort of a dry, you can turn it down and let the moisture run down, go into this dark right here, into the black, and you're going to make a little bit of a beak to the one here. Still doesn't look like it's focused that much. Okay, so we're going to make it's wet around there. So if I go into this wet, it's going to it's going to bleed. So I'm going to make sure I dry my brush. So the beak. And you'll see over here on the side, I've done a few beaks and I've done a foot, kind of broken them down. So the beak is going to come from the back end of the beak in, end of the beak in, and the third one. So there's the little beak at the end of the, of the guy. Now for the leg, the leg is going to come out. He's going to be running. This is a running foot right here, so it's going to be running. So I'm going to make like a little elbow area. So it's going to come down. And then this part where the foot connects is the largest part. It's going to come out. And then this toe is going to come in to the largest part. And then we're going to make the chicken foot. And out here, give it little toenails. Each one a little toenail. So that's the little guy here. Now for this running foot. So he's he's running behind. So this toe is going to come out, down, in. So it's one, two, three. Okay. Except smaller. And then it's going to get one coming here and one coming here. So they come toward the center toe. One coming here and there. And that basically is your little chick on this direction. Now, if you want to give him a little bit of uh, a little tail feather, you can give him a little bit right there, or you cannot. It's up to you. So that's the little chick there. Now, one little thing I didn't do yet. I'm going to go into some white. <coughs> So in the white, and I want this to be sort of thick. The white on the tip end of the brush. I'm only going to make one more stroke, so I don't want to fill my brush up with color. Right on the tip end with thick white, then a little yellow, and I like to work in saucers as well. A little bit more yellow. Sorry, a little orange and red. And the reason I go into all these colors first, if I just go into white and red, the white will turn to red pink. And I want it to have different variations of colors. And this is going to be the little comb right on top. And it may be a little bit hard to see, but when it dries, it will pop up it's right on top there. And that's the little, that's the little time area right there. And that's how you do a little baby chick step by step. And then uh, later I will show you different angles. Uh, actually, I'll show you a different angle and I'll put him in color for you. Or I can take the same one, have his head go in a different direction and put him in color. Uh, so I'm going to go Usually little baby chicks are black. Uh, they can be a brown color or a little fluffy yellow color. As they get older, they start turning to brown with little dark brown stripes in the back. And then they'll change to whatever they're going to be. Okay, so I'm going into white. And my brush is a little dirty, so it's looking a little gray, but that's okay. And then I'm going to get a little bit of that moisture out. 
And then I'm going to go into yellow, a lot of yellow. And my yellow is a tube that broke, so I just put it in one of these, add water to it. Or it didn't break the tube dried up. It's water soluble. So this it's Marie's tube color and it will dry. So a little bit of the yellow in. Rub that into your brush back and forth. A little orange. I can go in a little bit of red if I want to. And I'm going to go into a little bit of sienna on the tip end of my brush to give it a little bit of a brown look on the head. Just a little bit right on the tip. So I've got yellow and white, orange, and a little bit of brown on the, on the side. So this one, I'm just going to have him looking over his shoulder at a different direction. If I have a sample of one. I painted on one side the right way there. Other one I painted them upside down. Um, it will be looking over the shoulders similar to that one. Similar to this one right here. Okay, so the head, and I'm just going to do the whole thing. I'm not going to break it down, but each one you break down exactly the same way. The head's always first. And I'm going to have him looking over his shoulder. So I'm going to have the head first. Then I'm going to have the second, the wing, is going to be second. And then this wing, um, I'm going to have him kind of like he's sort of flying a little bit. I'm going to smooth this up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to dip the tip end of my brush in just water, so I'll get a lighter color. And now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to get some of that brown out of my brush, I'm going to be more yellow now. So I'm going to just go into the, just wipe that dark out and go into a little bit of just the yellow. But I didn't clean my brush. I'm going to keep the color in my brush that's in there. Um, this one is going to get a little leg right in here. It's going to get a little filling in right in this area here. Right together. Now, he's going to get a, you can turn your paper too if you want. He's going to get a little tail in. Goes around like so. And pull him in. So that's his little little back side and I can wet that so it'll kind of blend in a little bit so it doesn't just stick out so far. Okay. Now I'm going to go into my little coarse hair brush, go into some ink, go into the end of the ink and I want a kind of a dry brush, so I'm going to dry it up here at the top, and now I'm going to make this little beak. And the way his head is turning, you can't see that much beak. And not that much of an eye, so I'm not going to worry about that part. Now, for the leg, this little leg is going to come down and out. So the little leg is going to come a little dot and a little dot here, and it's going to come down a little bit, out, in, out, and a thumb. Tiny little toenails. Um, this leg, you could make him run or you could give him a different look altogether. Um, I'll give him, have him a leg standing. So he's going to be standing looking over his little shoulder. So 
So it's going to come down and it's going to come, the first longest toenail is going to be behind. Second one is here. Third toenail will be there and the little thumb. And that's how you make, oh, sorry, missed all that on the, on the camera. And that's how you make the little guy standing and a different little angle. And if you want him to have a little tail feathers, you can go into the orangey color and you can give him a little tail feather. So I'll redo this foot because I'm sorry, I had it out of the camera. So this little, you've got a, got a little leg coming down and uh, you can make a little, I like how a little elbow and it comes down, out, and here, and here, there's a little chicken foot, it's the widest part right there at the, at the end and the little toe here. So that's that little foot. Toenails, and the other little foot will be under the back side and it will come down and it's shorter because it's behind and hidden. So that basically is the little feet in the back and I hope you enjoy and practice, give yourself different angles. Uh, here's just some different uh, shapes for you to look at. And it's always good to have different chicks. If you're gonna have this in a painting, you want different angles, different views. And I hope you enjoy it.